This is the 0.303 inch caliber SMLE short magazine Lee Enfield rifle that had been in constant use from shortly after the Boer War until the 1960s or 70s. An accurate weapon, it carries a magazine that can hold 10 rounds and a, a trained uh, uh, infantryman can get off up to 15 rounds in a minute. God, it's heavy now. He used to throw it about like a dog. Um, Got to remember, who is it? Yeah. So you had a clip of 10 rounds? Yeah. On a, on a, being held in a little gadget. And so you open the bolt, put it and press them down, and they also had a load into there. Chuck the clip away, and close it, and it's ready to fire. <laughs> and that, that's all there is to it. Uh, back sight, front foresight, as in Saga. <laughs> um, safety catch. Very good. Um, and a, an experienced rifleman will get off 15 rounds in a minute, which is not bad, really. Um, and of course, we're no longer to be doing the thing you saw on Zulu, where you had front rank fire. Blah, blah, blah. It was very effective in its day, but of course, we didn't fight like that. We fought in the Second War, was mobile. Learning from the Germans' blitzkrieg. We don't dig trenches anymore. Do you know the BEF went out in '39 and started digging trenches? You always dig trenches, you know. <laughs> and over they came. Ah. Um, but that's all there is, that's all there is to the rifle. But I, I marvel at the weight of the thing now. With my present day weakness, <laughs> I tell you, when I went to that show and picked up a Thompson, ah! <laughs> I used to float around, you know. There, there. Was it a popular weapon? Hmm? Was it a popular weapon? Uh, what, the, the, yeah, the, was, it, was it a good weapon? This weapon, very accurate. Very good indeed. Uh, I mean, you have snipers, you know, who are trained killers, who will kill from a distance. And uh, I mean, we had one, never mind telescopic sight, he used one of these, he could kill a man half a mile. They're that good. Um, I mean, in the early days when he's doing our field training, uh, we'd march from Windsor down to Purbright for the open ranges. And I mean, you could, in fact, it's, it's hard to think of it, you could actually, if you were a very, very good shot, put two shots through the same hole. You know, oh, they were, they were very good. Yeah, nothing wrong with it at all. And remember, it was still in use until hmm, 19... 70-something, and it had been introduced, remember, in the days of the Boer War. Very viable. Uh, you know it's rifled, and that's with two and a quarter turns, the rifling inside. Rifling a barrel gives spin and accuracy, and in fact it improves the speed. If you have an unrifled barrel, inevitably the shot is going to be of the same bore, but with no expansion into the grooving space of the rifling. And so it doesn't have the same accuracy or distance. But this thing will fire quite heavily on a mile. Oh, yeah. I find it very amusing to think that a couple of years ago, BAE, who were responsible for making the British Army's ammunition, were advised not to use lead in the ammunition anymore because lead is dangerous. So's that little hard nickel bit in the middle too. <laughs> you know, people have such fatuous ideas now. Health and safety. 